Hey there, Louis here. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can add a Microsoft Bookings calendar to Microsoft Outlook. Now, I'm also going to talk about a major limitation when trying to do this, so you wanna make sure that you watch this entire video through to the end. Now, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now you can see here that I am on the Microsoft Bookings landing page and that I have several bookings calendars created. Now I will add this recruitment calendar to my Microsoft Outlook desktop application. And it's an important note, you have to have created your booking calendar first in order to follow the steps that I'm about to show you. All right, now you can see here that I have navigated to Microsoft Outlook. From here, you want to click on the calendar icon. And next you want to click on this add calendar button in the manage calendars group. Next, you want to click on from address book. And you want to ensure that this address book field is set to your global address list. Next, you want to search for the name of the calendar that you would like to add to your Microsoft Outlook app. I will go ahead and search for recruitment. And you can see here this recruitment calendar that we just saw in Microsoft Bookings. You want to double click it to select it. And once it has been added in the calendar field, you want to click OK. And you can see here that the calendar has now been added under the shared calendars group in the sidebar. Now, if I uncheck this, it will hide the calendar. And if I check it, it will display that calendar side by side with my calendar in Outlook. Now, one of the major limitations when trying to do this is that you cannot add a bookings calendar to Outlook using the Outlook web app. You have to do this using the Outlook desktop application. Now you can see here that I've navigated to Microsoft Outlook on the web. Now, if I wanted to add a calendar from Outlook on the web, I would click into the calendar app. And from here, I would click on add calendar. Now you'll see here this option that says add from directory. I will go ahead and click on this. Next, you're being prompted to select your account. Now I'll click on the drop down and I will click on my account here. And this is the equivalent to searching for the calendar from the global address book that we saw earlier in the tutorial. Now, if I go ahead and search for the sales demo calendar that you saw earlier in the tutorial when I was on the bookings landing page, you're going to see here that there are no results displayed. And again, that is because you cannot add a bookings calendar to Outlook from the Outlook web app. So that's it. In this tutorial, I demonstrated how you can add a Microsoft bookings calendar to Microsoft Outlook. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalos. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.